Hi, this is Ron from 724 Support TV. Today we're going to do the third and final installment of how to have a quiet server room by case modding um, a loud switch. So <clears throat> here I have a stack of things. We have a Cisco switch, a uh, D-Link PoE switch, and a D-Link um, fanless switch for once you've taken all your 1U servers and converted them to either VMs in a quiet 4U box as we've described or have taken the ones that need to be individual, independent and put them in a uh, passive or quietly cooled 1U box like the Supermicro Atom servers, what remains making noises is the switch. The switch gear typically um, makes a lot of noise because it has a whole bunch of fans like this instead of fans like this. So um, as we saw before, they can be quite loud. There are lots of alternatives. The easiest alternative, if you have no special needs, is to buy switches with no fans. These are passively cooled. You can get these in any number. This particular one um, is a 16 port, but you can get these gig switches, not 10 probably, but uh, easily one gig switches, 100 meg switches, etc. Um, this was a top of rack switch connected to a drop, so it didn't need to be more than 100. But <clears throat> these make no noise whatsoever. Um, and I could show you that, but no noise is not good television. However, um, more if you need more than that, for example, if you need uh, PoE or if you need managed switches, those almost always come with fans. Um, in the case of this PoE switch, there's a total of one, two, three. So the question is, how do you take this and make it quieter? You could, if you wanted to, I'm going to in fact show you how, replace these smaller fans with these larger fans, which you'll notice completely won't fit in the case. But there's a trick, and we're going to exploit the trick. Um, but first, let's take a look at how loud these actually are. So, obviously, that fan is louder than that fan, but the problem is, how do you fit them in? We're going to show you that. It's a trick. Um, your switch should almost always be accompanied by cable manager. We always recommend a 2U cable manager above a any switch. Gives, an, gives you enough room to in the rack stick your hand between to mess with it. So um, by way of measurement this is a 2U switch uh, cable manager. Uh, pen would be a little deeper, but only a tiny bit deeper. There are various depths, but they're all approximately this deep, two and a half inches. Um, three and a half inches, rather. But it leaves plenty, plenty of room for, s for fans on the back side. So in a rack, you're going to have another server covering this, perhaps, or another switch, but you're going to have plenty of room to exhaust air out. A pair of 120 fans is what we're going to use. You'll need a pair of fan grills so nobody sticks their finger. And there's another trick with those. Probably some cable ties. And then because we're going to be attaching it through to the inside, you want to make sure there's nothing but insulated rubber that's penetrating the top. So we're going to use um, rubber fan screws. Uh, siliconized rubber universal fan pins from Akasa in this case, and they'll come out and up, and all that will be left inside will be a tiny little piece of rubber. Um, and we're going to take U-channel, which um, is easy to get. This is three feet of it. You can get it from pretty much any case mod supply. Uh, I bought this in a roll on eBay to get more of it, and that we'll use to line the edge of the hole we're going to cut to put this in. Um, again, there's plenty of room. 
But before you go wandering about just cutting holes, you want to find out what exactly is underneath this and where the fan plugs need to go. These are the standard fans that we want to put in and you see now that there are two fans here that are pulling air out uh, where the, the motor and the struts are always the out direction of a fan. So they're pulling air out here with these two fairly large fans, um, 20 centimeter or 20 millimeter, not horribly large. 20 by 40 um, and there's a fan here a push fan that's pulling air in from the other side um, over the power supply so you're getting a little extra air over the power supply um, heating elements air intake comes from the side and then it's exhausting pulling through here where all of the uh, the connectors are and then pulling out here. So <clears throat> the obvious thing to do would be for us to mount one exhaust fan here. It's fan out, another fan in. It's working fine. For the moment I'm going to finish with the mod because it's quite a good mod. You'll notice that it's um, essentially silent now um, with the fan which is running. The switch is running, the fan is running. Okay, so to begin the mod, <coughs> the actual case mod, um, we haven't vi violated the warranty yet, but we will. Um, <coughs> I've placed the uh, case lid back on partially and I've taped off anywhere we're going to be marking, cutting, whatever. So I want to make a couple of, of um, positional notes. The first is that I want the fan to be inside of the other fans. I might take those out, but um, I might not. So I'm going to mark here to show where I want the edge of the fan to be in this, in this dimension. Then, I want to make sure that the fan is not interfering with the, um, <clears throat> interfering with the lips or anything else. And so, I want it to be, oh, let's see, let's see this. I want it to be, I could use a tape measure here, but. I bother with that. I want it to be that far in. So, so that represents then the corner of where the fan should be. And I'm going to mark then for now just approximately where the fan is. Now, you could, if you were clever and careful and had tremendously long marking utensils, mark straight through to show where the holes would be for the mounting. That's really hard to do. What isn't really hard to do is to buy a couple of $3 fan grills, which you will need anyhow. These are metal and should not be placed inside the machine, which you'll notice is unplugged. Rather, it should be placed outside. And so, what I'm going to do is just use it to mark it. Now, let's make sure that it's the same distance everywhere. And it looks straight and true. And I'm going to just hold it down. Mark all four corners where that will go. Yes, see, so we have the four marks and those will line up just nicely 
with those holes because this is designed to sit exactly on there. Piece of cake. Now, you could, if you wanted to then, say, all right, um, you don't need to do this, but since you can, let's do this. What does that mean in terms of a radius of a circle? Now, there are lots of things you could use to accomplish that. Um, this is one of the easiest. Same diameter. Okay, well, I've got the hole cut, and as you can see, I've put a couple, I've put four of these rubber um, fan mounts. We have a fan, and we have that fan guard at the top. A um, couple things. First, this U channel, C channel, is just a piece of rubber with a slip in the side. So simply push it all around and it goes straight in. Piece of cake. Um, and that will protect your hands, the edge of the fan, and any internal components. I've also drilled a hole here which will let the um, which let the cable through with the with a little uh, rubber grommet that I'll put on there when we're ready to go do that. There we go. Nice and quiet. How we like our fans. Okay. I'm gonna show you one more thing and then I'll attach that. Ah. Underneath here, um, We've got nothing but rubber showing. So these little things instead of screws are rubber. We have rubber around all the edges and I'm going to put a rubber grommet here. So to install these, you just poke them through the little holes and then pull them down until the little arrowhead barbs pop all the way through. Make sure they go all the way down. Usually there are a couple of stops along the way and it should be a little bouncy but firm. Then we're going to add this. This is not necessary for air or anything else, but it uh, it's good to not have your uh, your coworkers' fingers cut off by um, band blades. So we're going to do that. Um, now we need to attach it, screw it down, and make sure that it boots up just as needed. Again, from the underneath now. All you see is the fan and rubber. It's all grommeted nice and safe and like really sound. And again, it's blowing out. Okay, it's up and running. As you see, it's moving. I'm making very much noise. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clip off these the extra plastic tails. that is ready to rack. We're off the tripod now because I have to stand behind the relay rack but here you see one of our modified switches with an external 120 millimeter fan. It's uh, quite quiet and quite frankly you can't hear it at all even though it's spinning at uh, 7 volts in this particular case. That's it. Thanks very much. This again was Ron from 724 Support TV. Please comment, subscribe, and press like if you liked it. And let us know if you'd like us to make other, different, better, more, whatever you like. Thanks, bye.